Hi, I'm Karen Younghands, Territory Sales Manager for Dow Seeds. I'm here today to talk to you about choosing which field to harvest first for grain corn. So this year especially we've had some cool wet conditions and that can have an impact on what product and which field you're going to harvest first. So if your field had delayed uh, a delayed planting in the spring that also will impact its readiness in the fall. Other factors to consider are certainly the heat unit range of the products that you've put and where you've put them. So if it's a wetter farm, heavier soil, um, and if it's, it's prone to be a wet soil in the fall, you may want to consider looking that field first. Um, obviously heat unit ranges. Earlier maturing products in September are going to mature faster than a later maturing product in late September. So overall physiological maturity for grain corn is at 30% and that's when black layer will occur. So black layer is a visible sign that you can find within the kernel. So if you cut open a kernel when it is physiologically mature you will see a fine black line at the tip of the kernel inside. This is an abscission line from where the kernel has detached from the cob and there will be no further nutrient or moisture taken up from the cob and the plant, the kernel, is therefore considered mature. Safe grain storage practices require that you store dry grain considerably drier than 30%, so you do want to have some infield drying if the environment allows. Um, once black layers in, has occurred, infield drying methods are largely dependent on weather. Temperature, relative humidity, sunshine and rainfall impact the daily drying conditions for your field. On an average, on a good day, drying conditions can range from 0.5 to 0.8 percent. On a dry cloudy or a wet cloudy day with very little sunshine and a high relative humidity, you can expect almost zero percent dry down occurring on those days. Everybody has a crop plan and in that crop plan there are a few important people. Your seed rep, your agronomist, and of course yourself. So please consult your crop plan and look at where what products were put where and what those heat unit ranges were for those fields, what those field conditions were, and the environment that they were grown in this year. Um, also look at what the disease package was on those products and how it's performed this year and have a look in your field. That always is a great indicator of knowing what field to harvest. If you want more information on this topic or others, please contact your local Dow Seeds representative or log on to dowseeds.ca. Thank you.